number 12, Chris Naronis from Floral Park, and the running back, number 15, Tyler Martini. It's a trick play off the bat. That's Kyle Lewis, number seven. He's got a wide open man for a touchdown. Andrew Lusterino, number 10 from Valley Stream North. Oh, yeah. What a start. The streak continues for conference two and three. A 41-yard touchdown play, and the blue team on the board, 6-0. So it'll be third and seven. Ball on the carpet. Picked up by Rangers. Looking downfield. Has an open receiver. That's Trapio. And he makes the catch at the 20. Trapio will be driven out of bounds inside the 10. It's a Syosset to Syosset connection. Something Mike we saw all season long. Rangers looking for the end zone. And it's Cotolo. Great whip route by Cotolo right there. Pitching catch. Pat back those guys did for many years in Syosset. But great whip route by Cotolo. A little in and out. Whatever you want to describe it as, well run, perfectly thrown ball. Fourth down, Drew Palladino, the center, snaps it, and there's Greenberg. It was a play action pass. Neronis to Greenberg. We talked about him from Hewlett. Uh, from uh, yes, from Hewlett, and it's a touchdown for the blue team. It's Michael's bottom of your screen. They're looking his way, and they do. It's a hook and ladder for a touchdown. DeAndre Blagrove. Out of Malvern from Jordan Smichael. We talked about trick plays in this game, and there's a beautiful one by the white team. Ben Turchin, a.k.a. Nostradamus, seems to know what's going to happen right there. And Benji Smichael, they run a hitch to Smichael, a little bit of off coverage right there on third and long. He sits it down. Bargrove's coming out of the backfield, and the classic hook and ladder play right there. John Palladino gets to coach with the Sun tonight. It's the best. It's the, John has been so supportive of our program and does a great job over there at Hewlett. So we're just as you touch down, so you can take care of that. Honer Camp <laughs> finding <laughs> Kyle Lewis for the touchdown. And the blue team, Keith, how about this? You would love this stat. Palladino and David Yaker have scored on every drive in this game in their four years. On the right, they're looking Cotolo. Ranges. Cotolo's got a step. It's underthrown, but he gets both feet in bounds. Never mind one. <laughs> he, get, he gets both. Luca Cotolo demonstrating once again why he is maybe the best wide receiver in Nassau County. This year was just loaded out receiver. Oh, what deflected off of Trapio's hands into Gage Cicadas in the end zone. It's another Syosset touchdown for Team White. Just how you drew it up. Just how you drew it up right there. And uh, pull the flex off Trapio. He's, got a, he's Johnny on the spot making the play. Take another look at this. Ranges out of the shotgun. Look at the look at the blocking. The left tackle will get you his name in a second. Just off Trapio's fingers and Gabe Chicago right place at the right time. Sure, you did a little bit of this. There's Lewis again. Lewis breaking tackles. Lewis into the end zone. And the signal is... Good, Kyle Lewis, number seven for the Cary Seahawks. One of the best athletes in this game gets a touchdown, his second touchdown of the day, Mike, for the blue team. Fourth down, Stark, Smichael, pops in the air, but caught by Sakato. I think they were trying for the hook and ladder again, and this is the second time that Gage Sakato has been in the right place at the right time. Stark rolling out. Looking for a man. Oh, what a play! Broken up by Xavier Cooper, number four for the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Turnover on downs. The blue team is going to take over. The white team is back in business, down a touchdown, and Matt Ranges is back in at quarterback. Shotgun formation, looking downfield. Going deep, has a receiver. Robert Trapio with another touchdown for the Syosset Braves. It's an aerial attack for the white team, courtesy of the Syosset crew. And we are within a point, 27-26. Playoff games, and, and they're doing them here today. None of it's a fluke. None of it's a fluke. And how about Trapio? When the season starts, you, you knew all this. There's Lewis. There's Lewis. Lewis. Go. Lewis has a hole, Mike. Lewis is going to go. This one's to the house. And the blue team answers right back. Kyle Lewis put the crown on him right now. The MVP for two and three. 
No reason to be Nostradamus right now. It's fact. What do you see here? Uh, you see him finding a space, making guys miss. I think some people are a little, you know, all of a sudden he explodes, right? I got an angle, I got an angle, I don't have an angle. His fourth touchdown of the day. And when you talk about the Senior Bowl, watching it back, reliving memories, showing your kids, showing your relatives, he is never going to forget this game. Snapping his Valdez from Freeport. Ranges left side for Smichael. He's got it! Jordan Smichael brings it in for the touchdown, and the white team takes the lead. He'll take a knee, and that is it. The white team with a touchdown with two minutes to go in the game. Win it. Ranges to Smichael, 34-33 in an unbelievable and highly entertaining senior ball. What a classic this was. And if you don't think it matters, your camera's on the Waika team right there winning the game. They're really happy. And, and for some of these guys, it can be the last football game they play in. A really memorable one, and it does matter. And you can see the blue guys are up there a little disappointed. You know, they wanted to win. Right. But, but great job, everybody involved.